Is it possible that a deceased grandparent would deliver a message to heal a parent's childhood as well? Yes. I sense my grandfather trying to heal my family lineage through his mistakes communicated to me, delivered to my father. Trying to deliver messages to my father to correct an impact from his childhood that he still carries. In of course, that is the ministry of a medium. A medium is an intermediary who brings forth messages from those who are departed to those who remain so that there can be a healing because a lot of people check out of this life, Dennis Milligan, my father would be one of them, completely off the rails on a crazy train, got it all wrong, well, wrong being a judgment, he lived his life, whatever, but he did a lot of things wrong. But from his higher vantage point, he can look down on the life that he had and he can look at his timelines and he can see, he can see where he wished he would have done things differently or he wished he would have brought things into alignment. And absolutely, he can communicate that through a medium to me. And he can say, I'm so proud of you. And he has. And he can say, wow, I can't believe all the things that you've done. And I never heard that from my dad when he was alive. It means a lot to hear that, even if he's passed. That's the role of a medium. You are your own kind of healer. So absolutely, yes. A healing can happen in your father's life through acting as an intermediary between father and grandfather. And if you want to get kooky with it, you can also do this all in, in a room, <laughs> in a room in the astral. Who were we talking to today? Who was saying, was it Leah? It might have been Leah. Oh, I forget. There's so many conversations in the lab where she said she created a room in the fourth dimension or in the astral in a higher dimension where she does all of her healing work. And she goes there in her mind and she conducts her healing. You, Elena, could create a room in your mind's eye, make it a beautiful Zen sanctuary, lovely room for you. And in that room, again, this is happening in your imagination, call in your grandfather and call in your father and be a mediator and have your grandfather communicate to your father and your father communicate to your grandfather. And you're imagining this, by the way. This isn't actually, your father isn't sitting there physically with you, although you can do that as a medium, but we're doing this in the actual room within your mind. We're conducting a healing in your mind and you can act as an energetic conduit in the astral for the energy to be transmitted from the grandfather to the father without your father really even knowing. So if your father has some weird feelings about you bringing forth a message because you know a prophet is never accepted in his hometown as Jesus said which means you can you can be as gifted as you think you are but you go home to your family and they remember you when you were in your diapers or when you were acting a fool and so a prophet is never accepted in his hometown so your father might be like I know you girl I changed your diapers you're talking to me you're talking about my grandfather he might not believe you because of that but you can do the whole thing, the entire thing, in a room in your imaginal mind. So consider that as well.